How's it going, Team CNC? We are back with another racket review. It's been almost two years now since the initial review that I did um, for the Kokiniwa Carbon uh, Victus racket. And then about a year after that, we did Liam Pitchford's new blade, the uh, ZX gear. So this is becoming a sort of a yearly tradition. But I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, my sponsor and a great store here in the U.S. And they do ship internationally. It's tabletennisstore.us. Um, great deals on there for Victus equipment, which I'm using primarily. But today we have something a little bit different. A lot of interest around this racket. This is uh, one of Butterfly's flagships, the Inner Force ALC. Uh, the reason I personally was curious about this is because a fantastic player, Tomokazu Haramoto from Japan, their number one and number five in the world, was using something similar to this right when he uh, started to really have some great results there. And uh, now he, there was a blade that was made for him that I believe was based off of this structure. So let's just pull it out here and take a quick peek. Now the first thing I noticed is that the carbon is a few layers deeper in the wood, right? So it's wood then carbon. And uh, I have hit a few with this, but we'll take it out to the office in a second. And it definitely has a, um, a slower touch and a little more dwell time. So my uh, Victus racket, which we're gonna again be comparing to, this is my reliable right now. This is my old faithful right here. And uh, this has the carbon right as you touch it. So this releases really quick, which seems to be working really well for my game right now. I've tried other rackets out and I, I, I you know, we're almost on, uh, yeah, more than two years now strong with this racket. And I've had my, my best tournaments and results with this. And so I can't seem to get away from it. Uh, going with Vic Victus V15 Extra right now on both sides, which you can, again, get that at uh, tabletennisstore.us for a great price. Um, great to work with them. So we're going to be popping on this racket, two sheets of Victus V15 Extra, because that's my rubber of choice lately. It's got great spin, and it's just a really solid rubber all around. We're going to be putting that on to the inner force and uh, seeing how it plays. So catch you in a few minutes. Now, before heading out to the training area, I did want to take a quick peek at the statistics of the racket here. Um, just so I know that I'm not crazy or anything, we can look at it, what the uh, ratings have been for the speed control. So the speed is an 8.8, .8, and as we can see, comparing that to my current racket, 9.3. Victus Kokinewa, so that is quite different, so I, I'm not crazy after all. Control's a 9. I do notice this has great control for the speed. Control on this is even more. So slower speed, more control. Stiffness is a 5, which is quite low. This is more stiff. So again, it's this releases from the racket quite quick. Um, and wow, this is very consistent. And yeah, overall, I mean, it's a great racket, of course. But this is a lot faster. And maybe for that quick Japanese style, which I try to play. Uh, the, like Koki here, it's working really well. But I think if you have that power, like I could picture someone like Oftrov maybe using this. And Harimoto, you know, he's a small guy, but man, he seems to have a lot of physical strength. So let's get on out there and see how the two compare. What's going on, Team CNC? We're taking a look at two beautiful rackets here today. We got my racket, Koki Yo Carbon and uh, Butterfly's Inner Force ALC, and we're just going to compare both of them. So first I want to take a look at the sound, all right, and compare the two sounds. So we're just going to loop some balls off the top of it and see how the sound compares. different reasons. 
but I'll go over my final thoughts at the end. But right off the bat, it's a little slower than a butterfly uh, racket, and it's a little denser. It stays on the racket longer, and it, I think it does get a little more spin. But this has a lot of power, and it releases quicker. Again, this is really quite similar to uh, the scary. Right, guys, now I just want to see how this does off of understand the difference. So I'm going to do a couple slow, and then a couple with a little bit more power. And we're going to again start with Butterfly's Inner Force ALC. So let's go ahead and get it set for about 20 seconds. A couple slow spins, a couple like point finishers. Okay, let's check it out. Having to work so hard every match. 
Um, I need a little help from the racket, but yeah, I think if you're willing to use a lot of body and be a bit more physical, this, this should be the option for you. And it also does come with the fact that serve return is a bit slower. Uh, I think someone like Karamoto might like rackets like this because you can block for days with it. It's very steady. Um, so if you, also if you're like a really risky player, you need something that's probably a little slower because you're playing so fast that you'll need it to be a little slower for you. Like also Dima is making these massive shots. He, he can't play with something as quick as this probably. He needs the racket to help control it a little more. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for my final thoughts. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to tabletonestore.us again for sponsoring me and for supporting me. Um, please check out their website and you can order Victus rubbers, like this rubber that I love, V15 Extra. Uh, you can order different rackets and uh, this is where I got my Victus racket. They sent me this to try. So they're great working with them. And uh, yeah, I think more people should check them out. And continue to check out me at CNC Table Tennis. My father and I started a business with my brother. We have Instagram, YouTube, everything. And uh, yeah, the movement is getting pretty big. And we're out here having fun. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for a lot more content to come.